women deserve special consideration because they have been oppressed historically relative to men. And a more recent addition is that homosexuals deserve special consideration because they've been oppressed relative to heterosexuals. So these two things have uh, come to the fore. With the women's movement uh, certainly came abortion, contraception, and the notion that this is something that all of society should pay for. A woman should have the right to choose, to choose with whom she'll have sex, whether she wants to be married or not, to a smaller degree whether she should get money for having sex, but that is a growing kind of a concept. That if she does get pregnant, she should have the right to terminate, to kill uh, the fetus. And that she certainly ought to have the right probably to free contraception so that she doesn't have to face that decision. The homosexuals, they are doing uh, much the same. Um, there's a certain amount of thinking uh, among the, uh, the intellectuals, uh, the intellectual class, that um, uh, homosexuality, heterosexuality at the basis is love. And that love is what we're really concerned about, not the particular expression. And what you do with your organs and so forth, or with whom you do it, that's not important. It's whether you love while you're doing it, or love the person or class of persons with whom you're doing it. And this is, uh, this is very strong now in the United States, especially among the intellectual class. And so we see many, many college and university students feeling that uh, they will uh, strongly defend the right of homosexual love they will strongly defend their right to explore sex without love. That is, um, there are many, many, I don't think a majority, but I'm not really sure, many, a very large minority of college students now who feel that they have the right to uh, sexual expression and both men and women without knowing much more than the name or maybe a few drinks or something like that will meet and uh, what's called hook up and spend the night together maybe uh, maybe a, another night or two but uh, it's understood there is no real obligation here and for that matter what's really interesting is body to body rather than person to person contact which is very similar to what happens with a great bulk of homosexual contacts. So that, interestingly, in the name of love, a great deal of impersonal sex is being engaged in with uh, full approval, uh, sanctification, if you would, by the, uh, the intellectual class.